This is the movie that I've seen more than any movie. Done. Cast. Done. We agree the cast is not perfect right now. I have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> you would watch that, I would though. Yeah, fully would watch, watch that. that. Welcome to the recast. I'm Mike Scollins. And I'm Ali Horde. And today we are recasting The Shining. The Shining. So tell me about your experience with the original Shining. My older brother showed it to me when my parents weren't home, uh, as we did with most horror movies or R-rated movies. Way too young? Way, way too young. I, I was terrified. The carpet pattern scared me. This is the movie that I've seen more than any movie on It's your Earth. favorite movie. It's my favorite movie. I stayed at the hotel where they shot it. Really? Read the book several times. The exterior hotel. Yes, the one in Oregon. Oregon, yeah. okay. So, we're picking a new cast for this yeah. movie, so let's get into it. First off, Jack Torrance, previously played by Jack Nicholson, now played by Nicolas Cage. That's so interesting, okay. Because you know he's going to make some wide swing choices. Oh, I feel like you could put him in front of the camera and just like not even tell him it's a film. Yeah. You could just be like, it's an abandoned hotel, go nuts. He could play Danny, you know? Like he could, he could play Danny. <laughs> he could play the entire cast. He's so good and he's so intense and he's also like a genuinely good actor. Yeah, and I think he would be funny in a way too, which I think is important. Yes, yes. He would enjoy like, the director was like, all right, give me a 10. He would give you a 15. Right. And it would work. I went in a different direction. Okay. I went a little younger. I went Adam Driver. Ooh. Hear me out. He can play a happier, gentle, warm father, as we've seen. Mm -hmm. But he also makes very weird, sometimes deeply scary choices. Like every episode of Girls. Like every episode of Girls. I saw him in that play, Burn This, on Broadway. Uh -huh. He made some very weird choices in a good way. It paid off, could have been really bad. But I think he's another person you could put in front of the camera and be like, you, 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 you call it, you call it. What do you want to do with this take? You know, and he'd make some crazy choices, so. I still think mine wins. I think yours is very good. I will say, I was thinking for a new generation to be introduced to the piece, but it sounds like you're just trying to remake it for the same audience. That's what I'll say for Adam Driver as a choice. That is tough, but fair. Can I please have this one? <laughs> Oh, this is a fair way to decide. <laughs> Please, it's my Holy favorite movie. Um, okay, fine, Nicolas Cage, just because I also agree he would be very entertaining to watch. Okay, as. great, I got this one. Oh God, I am a softie, all right. Danny Torrance. This one was hard because I don't know child actors. Right, and that actor in the original movie was five. So I picked this guy for one very specific reason. Okay. And it's because he's the only child I could think of. Okay. Young Sheldon. His real name is Ian Armitage. Yeah, I can see that. I can see, I mean, he's a pretty standard, you know, comb back hair little boy. Yeah, he also seems like a little bit socially awkward. Uh -huh. He could be frightened by some ghosts. Yeah, okay, I see that you just picked the first boy that came up on your Google search, so I'm going to counter that with Archie Yates, who is the round-faced little adorable British boy from Jojo Rabbit. Oh. And he is going to be the next Kevin McAllister in the next Home Alone reboot. So if we agree that we could sort of age Danny up, I think he would just be sort of a really sweet, roly-poly little innocent kid who gets absolutely terrified by what he sees in the hotel. And I think, I'm gonna you know, easily give this one to you. Yeah, okay, well, that thanks. I didn't even have to beg. <laughs> <laughs> For no other reason than you did your research. Also, that kid's fantastic. He's fantastic. All right, we're tied 1-1. One, one. Okay. Wendy Torrance. This is tough, because Shelley Duvall is- Had a, a rough go of it. Rough go of it on set with the director, but also such a unique look and performance. Okay, I picked Laura Dern. Hmm. And I feel like if you cast Laura Dern in anything, people are like, well, yeah, that's who it should be. <laughs> she's such a strong character, and she's also very tall. I don't oh, know. You can't kill just... a tall person, you're right. <laughs> no, I just, and she's just cast always as a competent badass, so I feel like she could take Nicolas Cage so easily. But Laura Dern can do anything you throw at her. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so Laura Dern. Well, I I went in a different, very different direction. I went with Aaliyah Shawkat. Oh, you're you have a you have a retort already. Like up. She's fantastic. Mm -hmm. But age-wise, I feel like you're casting like the CW's version of The Shining. <laughs> Excuse me for wanting to introduce this to a new generation. You're just trying to please like yourself and the same generation that was into The Shining. Okay. Look, she's too young to be uh, Archie Yates' mom. 
what if this is his second marriage and she's trying to get in good with this kid as a stepmom, so they're very close and she puts a lot of time into him and she's his only protection against his biological father who has gone crazy. Okay, I like this. Now we're recasting and rewriting though, which I think is a slightly different it is, show. It is a light suspension of disbelief rewrite. <laughs> if there's one thing we know from The Shining, it's that Stephen King does not like his stuff being rewritten. <laughs> Excuse me, it was a very successful horror movie and he hated it. It's a masterpiece, he's it's fully wrong. Okay. I'm gonna give you Alia Shawkat because I really like her and I like that rewrite. I think she also does horror great. And I think she could just be really great alone in a big hotel, like trying to find her own way too. But yeah, Alia Shawkat and Nicolas Cage well, cannot be married too in the late. shining. It's too late, they are. Okay. Finally, Dick Halloran, yeah. famously played by Scatman Crothers. He's fantastic, does not survive the film. Mm -mm. Does in the book. Interesting. Yes. For me, I have, and I think this one is very good, Snoop Dogg. Interesting. Okay. Snoop Dogg has done horror before. Uh huh. He was so good in Bones in 2001. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like you said, he does comedy as well. And I believe that he can like get into, if anyone really has The Shining in real life, it's Snoop Dogg. I think that's just because he's high all the time. Right, like he could like speak to a child <laughs> through brainwaves. I, I think that's a really fun pick, actually. Thank you. I think he would do a great job. Uh, I had Andre de Shields. You might know him from Hades Town, but he was also in the Sack Lunch Bunch that John Mulaney did as the guy who sings about algebra to kids. He teaches them about math. Okay, I'm gonna have to say mine is better because I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> Fair <laughs> argument. I'll let you go with this one with Snoop Dogg because I think he would be really great, but then Let's take a look then at our cast, because this now seems very weird and uneven. <laughs> the Shining's a crazy movie. It works that we have. But you would believe that Shelley Duvall and Jack Nicholson were married in like Denver. You would believe yes. that. Yes, and now we're expected to believe that Shelley Nicolas Shaw Cage- Shawcat would be Nicolas oh, Cage's yeah. daughter. We agree the cast is not perfect right now. It's uneven. It's uneven. What if, what if, if we're okay with <laughs> slight rewrites, <laughs> What if they're just both his kids? <laughs> and he takes them alone in a hotel and they're just both his kids. And his daughter's back from college to help him out for this one. Oh. What if that is how we justify this so all of the red carpet interviews are not so awkward for Nicolas Cage and Alicia <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. And honestly, like, that's a problem on the day for whoever's shooting this film. We're just casting. Yeah, it. I'm also assuming Archie Aids can do an American accent, because then I have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's, gonna be a public, that's gonna be a publicist's job, not ours. Okay, so our final cast is Yes. Nicolas Cage as Jack Torrance. Yes. Archie Yates as Danny. Wendy Torrance is also your pick. Alia Shawkat, yeah. Alia Shawkat. And Dick Halloran is my pick of Snoop. Yeah, you know, I think it would be really interesting to see a movie where it was like an exquisite corpse of casting, where all the casting directors didn't know who else the other casting directors were picking. Yes. And they all just showed up we on set like day one. We all got like one page of the, of the breakdown. Yeah, and yes. yeah. And also like, then no one's gonna say like, oh, you were just trying to copy Kubrick, which no one can do that. Like, and it feels relevant for a new generation, but it still has old favorites for old people, I guess, like you, who just wanna <laughs> see, you know, their... <laughs> Other actors in that age group play the same roles, so I think it'll be great. Nicolas Cage will be fun and weird. I would 10,000% watch that film.